So years ago, I created a plugin for Xamarin Applications to help resize images automatically called Resizatizer. And um, I decided lately that I should improve this project and make it a little bit better and work more naturally inside of your projects. And so I've created a new package that works completely differently. And so I've changed it to be Resizatizer NT or new technology. So I've got this plugin installed, this, this NuGet package installed to all of my projects, including my shared code project, which is a Net Standard 2 project. I've got an Android project, an iOS project, and even a UWP Windows project. Now, if I want to traditionally add images to my project, I would have to go into each different platform and I'd have to resize my images to be the right size to add them to every single different folder here in Android, um, which is quite tedious. On iOS, it's a little bit different in that I have a resources folder and I would add images here and I would probably have at least three copies, a, a 1x version, a 2x and a 3x version for different resolutions. And then finally in um, Windows, uh, another similar idea where I've got uh, the same image, but I've got different scale settings. So I've got a 100, which is kind of like the normal scale, a 200 and a 400. Now you can imagine that taking an image, even if I have like a vector to start with, is pretty tedious to actually do all of this resizing and keeping multiple copies of these images. So I thought, let's make this a lot easier. So I've got a SVG image that is the Zamagon logo. And you can take a look here. I can see some, it's really basic. Um, you know, there's a, a couple SVG things in it. It's just a, a nice image that I want to resize that to my project. So I've gone and added it to my project. Now with Resizatizer, we have to do a couple things. It doesn't work just exclusively out of the box. So the first thing is um, I'm going to actually have to go to the properties of this and set a build action on it. And I can set the shared image build action. This is one uh, a build action that comes in as part of Resizatizer when you install it. Um, so that should, should change that to be a shared image. So if I get out of the uh, Zamagon logo file here and I go into my project, you'll now see I've got this shared image item in my project. Perfect. Now there's one more step that we do need to do before we can actually use this in our project. Uh, or, or before we can make an informed uh, use of it in our project, which is to tell it the base size. The base size is, is sort of your, your at 1x resolution, your normal resolution, your display independent pixel resolution. You'll see this is a little bit more obvious in a second here. So let's set our base size to be, size to be uh, 60 by 60. <clears throat> it's a square. So I've got this shared image. I've got my base size set. Now I'm going to go into my shared code where I want to actually use this image. So let's go to our main page. Um, this is just a default forms app. So let's get rid of the, the text here and let's add an image and let's make our source. Um, so this is important too. We named our image. It's a Zamagon.svg. Well, when this gets resized for us, it'll be a PNG. So we actually want to use that extension for the name. So Zamagon PNG. And I'm going to say the width request is, uh, if I can remember what I said, it as 60 and the height request as 60 as well. So you can see here that the base size in this case is really the width and height that you plan on using in your shared code. This is sort of like the display independent pixel size of the image that you want to display. And once we have that information, uh, Resizatizer knows to output. Um, so on Android, it's the MDPI uh, resolution. On, on iOS, it's the, just the plain PNG file, like we're at, you know, at 1x, if you, you thought of it that way. And UWP, this would be just like the scale 100. So this is what Resizatizer will use as a basis to calculate, OK, for this vector, um, how big do I need to actually uh, make it uh, for all the different resolutions? So we've got that specified here. So I can still build this file as normal. That should be pretty quickly. Um, now, the next cool thing is I can start building my Android application uh, without having to specify actual images and include them in the project. So if I just go ahead and build this, um, it's going to go and it's going to fetch all of the images. And you know what? If I even open the, the folder for this project and look in the OBJ folder, debug, I can see this resizatizer folder which then has all of these different folders and all of these different sizes of images already calculated for me and already made for me. And if we look in the MDPI, you can see it's, you know, 60 by 59. So it, it figured out the best scale it could, but you know, it's approximately correct. 
So I've got the images resized, and the cool thing is that they're automatically included in my project as part of the build. Now, they're not going to show up in the resources folder because they're not really actually in there, but they are included as part of the build. So if I go and launch this project and bring up my visor emulator here, we should hope that once this deploys, it'll actually um, it'll actually show us the Zamagon logo in the, in the file here. And this is showing it as a 60 by 60 uh, image. And so it's using the right resolution image on the right platform. Now, of course, we can do this, uh, if I can figure out how to, where my stop button is, if we can do this for um, iOS as well. Um, so if I set this as my startup project, I can go ahead and build this and I, I'm gonna run it on the emulator and I can go ahead and, and build this project. And again, it's gonna go get the images, it's gonna go resize them. And if I go look at the folder here, um, for iPhone simulator, there's a resizitizer folder here and you can see the different dimensions of the images. So the, the one X or the, um, you know, the baseline image is, is the size we expect it to be. The two X is double that and then triple that for three X. And you can see, oh, you can see here, it shows up here. I didn't uh, set my content incense properly, or maybe I should have centered the image, but it's showing up as we expected, which is, it was kind of handy. And again, if we stop this build here, you'll see that it doesn't, they don't exist in this resources folder. They're just automatically included as part of your build. So finally, I've got the UWP project here as well. And um, again, you know, the assets, it's not in here, but if we start this up, we should see the same result. And again, I'm gonna open up the, the local folder here. I'm just gonna verify for x86 for this um, big window opening. Let's see it pop up in a second here. And we've got the Zamagon logo there as well. So if I look in here again, I can see that the 100 scale, the 200 scale, and the 400 scale that were automatically generated for me. So this is how you add shared images to your project. Um, like they can be a, a vector image. You could have a PNG image, that would be fine too. And again, you can specify the base size. If you don't specify one, it's just gonna use the the actual width and height dimensions as the base size, and that's probably not ideal. So this is my work on uh, Resizitizer. You can go check it out. Uh, the package name is Resizitizer NT. It's still in a preview state, but it's it's doing pretty well. Um, incremental builds and all that fun stuff works pretty much as it should. You can see that I used a Mac build host here, which is quite uh, useful to be able to do. And yeah, that's it. Go check it out.